hello there guys welcome welcome so high rise just published a post uh, an update for high rise studio package 0 0.4.11 which allows you finally to publish your world and test it with the virtual players so they have multiple scene supports there's a new chat api which allows a player to join chat channels there's improved virtual players that means you could test your world with virtual player as you could see in, in my world here so what that means exactly is you could test your world now with virtual players you can see how the world works if, if I if I move the the world uh, you could see how the players are switching their sides so this is how it's gonna look like so I'm gonna show you quickly how to create your own world and publish it and test it with virtual players and add assets and it's not gonna be a long it's gonna be really really brief and really short one so let's get started if we go back to the forums there you go and you go down I'm not gonna explain all these to you but if you go down here to get started check out our step-by-step -step guide let's go on creating your first world now if you guys don't have studio hub and unity hub yet I'll show you quick how you could get it just go to the create.highrise.game and you sign in I'm already signed in and then just click on start creating you can see download for windows this is the studio in which you will be able to make your project so just go ahead and click on it and now you can see it's downloaded here just go ahead and install it now once you have installed your high rise studio hub you can see a window like this uh, for me I've already created some projects to test out so for you it would be totally blank so go ahead and click on new project keep the template as basic location is where you want to save your project on your computer name your project whatever you like for now we will put it as first world and create project it might take few minutes to load up the project uh, and if you don't have unity installed you could go back over here and on the forum page and click on unity hub and then you could download from windows from here or mostly in my case i think when you start the project it will automatically install unity before and it will start your project so either way so once you have installed um, your unity and you have loaded up your project you will be looking at a window like this on the left side you could see there's a hierarchy which is gonna display all your objects and cameras and lights um, which you're gonna use in the project on the bottom part you could see all the assets which you'll be downloading or you're gonna be making um, you could navigate from this box on the right side is inspector which is gonna be like whenever you click on an object or any asset you see in the viewport it's it's gonna display all the properties and here's where you could modify and everything so as I said it's gonna be a quick one uh, all you need to know is how you're gonna move into the viewport and the basics so to move around the viewport um, is the middle mouse where you could pan the whole viewport and then if you want to move your camera as control plus left click all right now to move your object or modify your object you could simply click on the object and you could change your position rotation scale from here or you could see this gizmo you could move around like this To navigate to different rotation or scale 
you could use the keyboard shortcut W E R. So W is move, E is rotate, and R is scale. So that's the basic navigation you need to know to move the objects around and be around the viewport. So let's go ahead and delete this cube for now. Select this floor and we'll make it much bigger because this is too too small. If you want to test it, you could see a play button right above here. Just go ahead and click on it. This is test how it's going to look. That's your character and that's how you're going to move. Right, so we're going to make the floor bigger so you could have a bigger area to plan out and just add some couple of objects. Um, that's it. So let's get back to scene. Uh, to navigate your scene and game window, you could see there's two window tabs here. The scene is where you create, add asset, move around, and the game is how it's going to look like. Right, so click on the floor and we go to we press R on the keyboard, press this little guy and drag around to make it big. Now, see this box is a num mesh, so even if it's big, you can't move around. In order to move around, well, you could test it out. You go and click on play now. You would see you're restricted to that cube. So this is something you should remember at start of your project. Whenever you add your floor or make it bigger or add some extension, always go here on the num mesh. It selects the box you can see. And then on the right side over here, just click on bake. Now the whole floor is baked. Now you can dust it out and now you can move around everywhere. So that's your first land in your world, which you can move around. Oh, let's add some assets. So we'll just go here, anywhere on the hierarchy tab, just right click. You could find all these things. I'm not gonna explain it right now. I'm just gonna explain you how to add simple objects. Go to 3D objects, press cube. There you go. Bring it up. That's your first asset in the world. Now let's go ahead and add some more objects. Just go slender, and then we add a spear, the capsule, and then just start placing around in your world wherever you like. Oh, there's another thing, something called, if you could go on the left side and navigate to light probe group. Now, I don't want to explain what this does, but all you want to know is that you need to have this all over the space you're creating. So just go ahead and press R and scale it big enough that it goes all around your world. Right? Go ahead. Now go ahead and place some more objects. You could also copy paste your assets just with control C and control V. Just move around, control V, move around. That's easy. So we are just gonna add all these assets to one category. To how to do that, just right click on the hierarchy again, go to create empty and click on it let's call it objects then you could select all these things all the assets you have created and just drag into the object so now you have a clean workspace well now that's done you could just go ahead and click on play so here now you can see that you're literally moving and passing through your assets so to stop that, this has happened because you didn't bake again after adding the assets into the world. What that means is just go to the mesh 
and click bake again so every time you add new thing it needs to be baked so just go ahead and click on bake now you can see all these areas which shows that you can't pass the area or this object has their own boundary which will not allow you to pass through them so go ahead and click on play and now you can see you're going around them so now that your world is ready and you have assets as well it's time to test out your virtual players so to do that just go up here and click on the high rise tab and the studio and click on virtual player a window will pop up like this well and that's your player you could move him around you type some message so how it looks you could also add more players as many just do the same thing go to high rise tab studio and virtual player the new window will pop out with a random character And this is how you create your first world and test it out with your virtual players. Now, Hi-Rez did say that you could publish your worlds. And to do that, let's head back to the forums. We're just going to skip all this importing world and importing assets. And you're just going to go to publishing your world. To do that, it says go to the creations tab. So we'll go to the create portal. On the dashboard, just go to creations and click on create world. Well, I've already done it before, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create new world again. I'm just gonna name it first world. My first world and create world. You could upload a picture. You could add more introduction and description. Go ahead and click on save. And then I could go back to dashboard and creations and you could see your world over here. And it says private and there's no other option to make it public. So I'm not sure yet if um, the update is just to publish the world and test out. Um, well, uh, getting back to it, let's go back to our Unity. Now, if you have 0 0.3 and you are looking to update to 0 0.4, just go ahead and click on this little guy. This will open your package manager. Just click on here and go in project. Now in here you can see high rise studio. Now I've already upgraded it to 0 0.4, but if you haven't, there would be a button over here saying update to 0 0.4. And you can just click on it and restart your project and you could see the publish button over here. Now let's go ahead and click on publish and you could see organization and by default it's gonna be your name and organization you don't have to change that uh, just go here to the world and press this little triangle where you could see the drop down and now you could see the name of your world which you created uh, back on the website so just click on the first world and publish now let's go back to the website and you could just click on the first world over here and now you could go to the builds and you could see your world is processing. So if you go back to the form and just go ahead, we have done all this. So the step one was creating the world and then going to the Unity, signing in and then publishing the world with your name, selecting your world which you created and then monitoring progress. It says you can observe your world's processing status as it prepares for publication. Now, I think what it means is when you, let's go head back to Unity. When you just click on publish, you could see once you publish, your world will be saved as a draft. After review, your world will be visible in the app and to people in the selected organization. So that is it. Just an idea for you all guys to know how to create a world and how to publish i'm not sure if uh, it's gonna be soon we are gonna see a lot of worlds in the app but i'm excited are you